Hi, I'm Jonathan Kraft with Cry Like Realtors, and this is our second installment of our school videos where we're going into different schools in the community and uh, showing you around and letting you see what's great about each one. And uh, today we are at Black Fox Elementary School, so I'm excited to show you around. Let's take a look. This would be the best school ever to come to because it's just amazing. My favorite thing about Black Fox is that everyone is so nice and everyone has fun. My favorite thing about kindergarten is all of my friends and my teacher. She is really <coughs> nice and she's always helping us out a lot. Black Fox is the best school ever. Kim Fisher, principal at Black Fox Elementary. I do have a history with Black Fox Elementary. Um, in fact, I'm standing in my eighth grade classroom right now. I was a student here for eight years. I've been a parent here, parent volunteer, taught here for eight years. A grandparent, I've been a grandparent of a student at this school, getting ready to be a grandparent again of a student at this school, and I've been principal at Black Fox Elementary for over 17 years. When I brought my children to Black Fox, I wanted to know that they were safe, that they were in a loving classroom, and that they were challenged. And I know that we offer that at Black Fox Elementary. I found that as a parent, I found that as a teacher, and as a principal, I've seen it even more. I love the fact that we have loving, caring, faithful adults in every classroom. I love that. <music> Love that we find ways to engage students beyond the regular curriculum that we try to get them plugged in in areas where they have interests and in things that that build their enthusiasm when I was a little girl I loved going to school for the extra stuff the clubs I was in and the friendships that I made and we want to be sure that we protect that I'm Naomi Dykus from Black Fox Elementary archery coach here um, this year, my goal has been to teach these kids how to focus, um, discipline, self-worth, determination that they can carry into the classroom with them and everyday activities. Um, and with their hard work and their focus and their discipline, um, this year we have um, ranked third place in state for bullseye and second place um, in 3D in the state of Tennessee. Welcome to our Foxtrot. This is a track given to us by the United Way about five years ago. Today, you're seeing the running club. We meet every Monday and Wednesday with 105 kids participating. Yesterday, we ran our 5K. We had 90 kids run. The goal that I have is to instill the love of running and to set goals and to finish strong. My name is Pam Coleman and I'm the technology instructional coach for Black Fox <coughs> Elementary. Well, we are technology rich at Black Fox and so students have a device and it's we call it one-to-one. -one, a one-to-one -one ratio meaning that every student grades K through five have a device. Now they're age appropriate. So an iPad is appropriate for a kindergartner through second grade, we believe. In a third grade classroom, you're gonna have more traditional laptops. And this year, what pushed us over to one-to-one -one was getting Chromebooks for our fourth and fifth grade. And so that's a fully integrated with G Suite for education. And so you can walk into a classroom and see them in their Google Drive and teachers have pushed out assignments for them and they are becoming technology savvy. My name is Kristen Rader and I'm the music teacher here at Black Fox as well as the Black Fox Singers Music Director. Black Fox Singers is our big school choir. Uh, in third grade is the first year that they get to audition for Black Fox Singers. It's composed of third, fourth, and fifth graders and uh, we actually travel around the community and we sing for different um, events. We sing for the colleges and the nursing homes and the hospitals 
hospitals, and it really just um, gives the children a boost of confidence when they can get up there and perform in front of audiences. It creates teamwork um, and leadership throughout the school. So um, Black Fox Singers is a great, great group for them to be a part of, um, where they grow not, not only in their music, but um, they also grow in their confidence levels as well. Black Fox truly is a very special place. When you walk into the building, you just feel it. You feel the warmth and the welcoming um, of the teachers and the, the, the family that we are here at Black Fox. And you see that transcend into the classroom because we have such high expectations here for our students and, and the academic excellence that we strive for on a daily basis is truly remarkable. And I love to see how our students thrive um, when those expectations are, are laid out in front of them. We never want to take for granted the fact that our parents drive, they go to their jobs, they're trusting the most important thing most important thing in their lives, their child, to us. They're trusting us to, to educate that child, but more than that, to love them, to help them find ways they're smart, to help them get a direction for their future. And I was six years old when I decided I wanted to be a teacher. Some of our boys and girls find their calling in elementary school, and we don't take that for granted. We always welcome parents. We have a website that's very friendly, and you can actually email me straight through that website. And I work all summer, so if moms and dads want to drop by, they can drop by and visit. I encourage parents to do that. Um, you can feel the culture of a school when you walk in the doors. It's one thing to look at a website. It's another thing to walk inside. And that's how I found my way to Black Fox as a little girl. My dad worked here one year, and he knew he wanted me to be a Black Fox student. So we welcome our parents to come. Nothing takes the place of seeing it with your own eyes or having that conversation. I appreciate opportunities like this where we can visit with families um, via a video, but, but beyond that, how awesome is it to get to come and visit a school? So parents are always welcome.